In this question, we have a container with a mixture of chlorine gas and fluorine gas. We're told chlorine gas has a molar mass of 70.90 grams per mole. And fluorine gas has a molar mass of 38.00 grams per mole. We're also told the chlorine gas molecules move at an average speed of 472 meters per second. Okay, our goal is to find the average speed of the fluorine molecules. So let's write down our known variables. So we know for chlorine, we know the molar mass is 70.90 grams per mole. And we also know the speed V is 472 meters per second. For fluorine F2, we know the molar mass is 38.00 grams per mole. The speed is what we're trying to find. So those are our known and unknown variables. Now let's head to the reference sheet and look for an equation that might be able to help us. So here we have Graham's law, which relates the speeds and molar masses of our two compounds. So let's go ahead and write that down. So we've got V1 divided by V2 is equal to the square root of M2 divided by M1. Okay, we're trying to find V2. Let's just label those on here. So let's say chlorine is one and fluorine is two. So we're trying to find V2. So let's just rearrange this for V2. So first I'm gonna multiply everything by V2 to get V2 on the top. Then in order to get rid of the root M2 over M1, I'm gonna multiply everything by root M1 over M2, which is the opposite of that. That's gonna cancel out over here, leaving us with V2 is equal to V1 multiplied by the square root of M1 divided by M2. Now I can just put in my numbers. V1 is 472 multiplied by the square root of M1, which is 70.90 divided by M2, which is 38.00. And if I put that all in my calculator, that gets me an answer of 645 meters per second. So let's check that in our answer box over here. 645 meters per second. Awesome, okay, so we found the average speed of fluorine molecules. And let's just do a sense check. So assuming that these particles are at the same temperature in this container, we know that the kinetic energy of the chlorine and fluorine molecules on average should be the same. However, chlorine has a greater mass. And remember, kinetic energy is made up of both the mass and the velocity of our particles. So if we have a greater molar mass, that means our velocity must be less. On the other hand, if we have a smaller molar mass, our velocity must be higher or faster. So that makes sense because fluorine has a smaller molar mass, but we found a higher average speed. So that all checks out sensically as well. Okay, finally, the question asks, if a container had a hole in it, which gas would be expected to effuse out of the container more quickly? In other words, which would leak out more quickly? So that's going to be the gas that's moving faster. That's the one that's going to leak out more effectively. And the one moving faster is going to be fluorine. So our answer here is going to be fluorine. So if we have a container with a mixture of gases, the one with the smallest molar mass is going to be the one that moves fastest and therefore the one that effuses most quickly.